Hello, how are you? Welcome to CEO, where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans and correct misrepresentations of Africa and Africans. Today, we're talking about the unprecedented high number, increasing number of Nigerian students that are dying abroad. The most alarming in this case is the over 100 Nigerians that have died in Northern Cyprus, mostly students in unresolved and mysterious ways. Now, Northern Cyprus is unrecognized. It's not recognized as a country by the United Nations. So Nigeria does not have an embassy in the country. So these deaths cannot and have not been robustly and fully investigated. But authorities in Northern Cyprus have, you know, claimed that most of this, a good number of these deaths are from suicide. An increasing number have been from obviously murders, but unresolved. But Northern Cyprus is not the only country where you, you, you have increasing number of Nigerian students dying. It's happened in other strange countries around the world, unresolved. But this begs a bigger issue for reflection. Increasingly, Nigerians are traveling, leaving the country to very strange parts of the world unknown to in pursuit of educational you know, goals. Because the educational system in Nigeria has been fledgling for quite a while, and the options and the the, the, the options that have been taken on by Nigerian parents have been to send ch our children to schools abroad. Yes, every ch parent wants the best for their children, but we want our children alive too and healthy and well. And I think this is a time to reflect further. Do we really think the only way we can fight the fledgling educational system in Nigeria, including the strikes, you know, not knowing when your child will graduate, do we really need to really, is it really critical that we put all our efforts into sending our children abroad? Could we start demanding that the educational systems in Nigeria work for our children for the safety of the, you know, if for nothing else, for the lives of our children? I'm, I'm certain that most parents would want to have their children alive schooling in Nigeria than dying in a strange country where it cannot be investigated. Even if it can be investigated, you just want your child alive. I think the pursuit of options in the last dec in a few decades of us Nigerians actually pursuing foreign options rather than investing in making Nigeria work for us all and our children may not always be the best. It's a high risk option we need to start reflecting on. Keeping our children alive in a well established educational system in Nigeria is the best option, including sending our children to private institutions. Thank you.